Now the town of Paradise Valley is hiding cameras inside cactus. These cactus have been popping up, cactus cameras have been popping up throughout Paradise Valley over the past few days. And residents, they have no idea why. And the city doesn't want to talk to them about it. Hello. Hello, Edward. How may I help you? Okay. Well, this is Roy from the city of Paradise Valley. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm pretty good. Hey, uh, we just, uh, we caught you on one of our new cactus cameras uh, littering out the window of your car. That's not true. Oh, no, it is true, because we have your your car, we have your license plate number, we have it on camera. We saw it happen from one of our new cacti. Well, number one, I haven't driven my car through the town of Paradise Valley today at all. Well, I didn't say today, did I? Who is this? This is Roy from the city of Paradise Valley. Roy, would you identify yourself more? No. Why should I do that? Because I'm just asking a straightforward question, sitting here and relaxing. Oh, well, you don't sound very relaxed. I mean, as soon as I called, you're like, identify yourself. What do you want? You, like, bit my head off just for asking for you. Well. I'm I'm just letting you know. We've got our eye on you now. We're going to be watching that strike one. If you get three strikes, you're in trouble. You're going to get a ticket. A ticket for what? For for littering. Uh, We could give you a ticket right now, but we're being nice. We're not going to give you a ticket. Well... I got news for you. I haven't driven in the town of Paradise Valley in 10 days. Maybe it happened 11 days ago. I don't even go that way. It was 11 days ago, maybe. You ever think of that? Yeah. Yeah. I think you're full of shit. You know you littered, and you're trying to make up excuses, trying to lie to me, but the cameras don't lie. We're watching every move you make from our new cacti. Yeah. So who is this? I already told you it's Roy. Okay. All right. Just so you know. Do you know who? Do you know who lives next to me? Who? Andy. Oh shit! Who's that? He just retired as the deputy chief of police for the city of Phoenix. Oh. I'm going to give him this phone number and ask that uh, he give this to one of I his bet friends. You're the, I bet you're the most annoying neighbor ever. Like every little thing that happens to you, I'm going to get the deputy. He lives next door to me. We're good friends. You think you can just litter because the deputy is your next door neighbor? Is that it? Think you're above the law now? I think you have ADD. Why do you say that? Uh, because you have nothing else to do in your life other than turn around and call up and harass people for no reason. I'm not whatsoever. harassing you. I'm giving you. I'm just giving you a verbal warning. This is strike number one. This is my job. This is what I do for a living. Okay. This is what you do for a living. That's right. I'm in charge okay, of the cacti this is the program. Phone number of you at work. Yeah. And you work for the town of Paradise Valley. Yup. And your name is Roy. Yup. This isn't supposed to be such a big deal. This is just a friendly verbal warning. I'm just letting you know we saw you litter. And if you want to deny it, that's fine. But if you do it another time, we're going to give you a ticket. Okay. All right. I know Andy, by the way. You can tell Andy to suck a dick. I don't care about Andy. You think I'm afraid of Andy? Whoa. 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 You you let Andy know I said that, too. Whoa. What, are you having a heart attack? What's going on? What was that noise you're making? Yeah, that hurt. Was that your O face? That hurt? I, I wasn't talking about you. I was talking about Andy. Oh. Uh, Can you just admit that littering's wrong and you won't do it again? First of all, littering is wrong and I don't do it. Well, why'd you do so it What then? am I going to turn around and throw out of my car? My dog? No, you threw like a big gulp cup or something. No, I don't go to the go-cup places, and I don't go out for coffee, and I don't throw the go-cups out the window because I don't have any. You don't have any windows? I'm a diabetic, and I drink water. All right, you threw your water cup out the window. I don't have a cup. You just, you cup it in your hands and drink it that way? No, I have a bottled water is what I do. Well, you can't throw the bottles out the window. I don't throw the bottles out the window. You can't throw anything out the window. It's literally... We've got our cacti on you. That's our new slogan. Is it your new slogan? Yeah, you've heard about our cacti, right? No, I haven't heard about your oh, cacti. Okay. You're you're too busy littering to keep up on current events. What? All right, I gotta go. I have other people to call and yell at. You do. Yep. Well, I'm gonna put an end to your calling. No, you're not. This is my job. This is what they pay me to do. Well, you're not gonna get a paycheck anymore either. 
Oh, yeah, you're going to have your... You're not going to be allowed to call up people and do what you just did. And I had the whole thing on record. Oh, really? What what did you record? So your entire conversation has been recorded. And... What kind of device did you use to record the call? My answering machine. Oh, okay. I didn't hear it. Oh, I'm sorry that you didn't hear it, you know? Okay. You know, that's the way that it goes. You know, the... You know, it's illegal to record someone without their permission. This is a two-party state. You're violating well, state and federal laws, motherfucker. But you don't care about laws, because you just go around littering out your car window all the time. Think you can do things like that, because you've got a neighbor that's a ex-sheriff or whatever you said. You have ADHD. Yep, that's me. I don't me. to turn around and, and do anything except make sure that uh, you get your meds. All right. Well, I got to pay for my meds by doing my job here. So for like the twelfth time now, I'm going to let you go. Got uh, other people to call now. So bye. Enjoy your recording. Make sure you show it to your sheriff neighbor. Oh, by the way, there's a judge that lives two houses away as well. Oh shit. Now you got me really scared. Whatever will I do? I don't have the foggiest idea. All right. Littering's bad. Bye. I'm hanging up now. Well, Carrie, we've seen uh, about two dozen fake cactus in Paradise Valley already serving as cover for cell towers. But some people were alarmed to see cameras being placed in cactus around town yesterday. And while town leaders didn't initially want to talk with us about the cameras, we did end up getting some kind of explanation. Hello. Hello, Helen. Yes. Hello, this is Roy from the city of Paradise Valley. Yes. Hi, um, I just needed to uh, let you know something. Uh, you're, are you aware of those cactus cameras we've been installing everywhere? Uh, yes, but I haven't paid attention. Should I have been? Oh, no, I'm just letting you know. Like we, One of our cactus cameras it, it, um, saw you driving around the other day, and it captured your license plate number, and it also took an x-ray of your body. Well, oh no! Oh no! It's okay. No, I'm I'm calling. I, I'm just trying to make people understand that the cactus cameras are okay. And I want I want to let you know that we took an X-ray of you as you were driving, and everything looks okay. E- everything came back positive. I mean, good on the X-ray. And who is this? It's calling. My name's Roy. You're with the, and you're with the police department. Oh no, I'm not with the police department. That's against the rules. No, I'm just with the city of Paradise Valley. Yeah. Yep. I just All wanted right. to let you know we we took your X ray. Uh, it's basically it's like uh, it's like a cat scan. And uh, oh my word! Yeah, they're really powerful. They they just beamed yeah. X rays at your car while you were driving, and yeah. everything looks really good for both you and Jimmy. Well, I appreciate that. And right now, I have another call coming in. I'm in a state of shock. Why are you in shock? Okay. Why are you in thank sh- you. Why are you in shock? Well, thank you. I, d- I didn't know about this. Oh, so, yeah. Uh, Just so you know, we'll be taking your x-rays every time you go out for a drive. Oh, well, this is good. Then I won't be going for very many drives. No, no. You won't have to go to the doctor as much, is what I'm saying, because we're, we're just going <laughs> to... We'll let you know if we, if we spot any anomalies. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Okay. Answer that other line. Hurry up. All right. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you. Bye, Helen. Look close enough at the cactus as you drive through Paradise Valley, and you might see some cacti's looking back. I've lived here for 30 years, and I had never seen cameras in a saguaro before. One cactus camera was installed at the roundabout at 40th Street in Stanford yesterday. There were these guys standing up on ladders. There were three, like, 12-foot ladders, and they were working on the top. Of the cactus? Yeah. (laughs) Putting the cactus together. The fake cactus. (laughs) And residents are curious what the cameras are for. Your guess is as good as mine. And I thought maybe when I stopped here, I thought maybe y'all knew what it was. Hello, it's Charles. Hey, Charles. This is Roy from the city of Paradise Valley. Hey, how you doing? Pretty good. I just needed to let you know, um, you've heard about our, our cactus cameras, right, around town? Uh, yeah, I just saw a news article on it, yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, I'm supposed to call everyone in town and, and give them the option of opting out of the MRI scan. Okay. Because, um, you know, it, 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 it scans your body to look for anomalies, like, you know, just cancer or whatever. 
and it you know basically does like an x-ray of you as you're driving around so would you prefer oh. would you prefer to have the mri scan or do you want to opt out of that well I, why would it do that <laughs> oh, just it's just an extra little service that it it's you know it's there to help all the citizens of Paradise Valley, and, and it'll, it'll it, oh. you, know, you won't have to go to the doctor as much. Yeah, well, that's confusing. Why is it confusing? Uh, I'm not sure. What, like, why would you get an MRI while you're driving around? Uh, well, it's Am I just missing the the point. Well, no, there's you know it, the cameras they do a lot of things. They scan your license plate, and um, they catch people speeding and littering and stuff. Okay. But then they also do uh, things like MRIs and x-rays and all that. The x-ray, it's mostly just to find out if you have contraband in the car. Like if you're, um, we can see if you have a bunch of weed in your trunk or something. Right. But in addition, it, it's... Okay, it's, well, I'm pretty it, safe there. Okay, yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, sure. But yeah, it also scans your body and tells us about any problems that there might be. Uh, I had no idea that that's what, that sounds kind of science fiction to me, but... Um, yeah. I guess I would opt out. I don't really need unnecessary radiation. Okay. Oh, it won't hurt you. It's fine. And and you're completely okay. healthy, by the way. You. It looks like it says here you've had 25 scans so far through our MRI. And other than being a little chubby, I I see here it kind of shows me a naked picture of you. Uh, yeah. How do I look? Well, a little chubby, to be honest. But um, I mean, you're healthy at least. How much would you say that I weigh? Oh, I don't know. No, I wasn't trying to start anything by by saying that i'm just maybe it's just the angle of the mri yeah i hear you well i i, I have a six pack so i probably am getting a little overweight yeah that's true yep also i was gonna so, let, uh are you just calling everybody this for fun or no i'm just letting everyone know giving everyone the option to opt out of the mri and if you want to keep doing the mri i want to recommend i wanted to recommend that you um you know take off your take off all your jewelry before you go driving and stuff because there's a lot of magnets and things aimed at your car you don't okay. want to. Ha- you don't want to wear a lot of metal or have one of those wallets with the chain on it or anything. No, I try not to have that. Yeah, and also okay. if, if you've noticed any of your credit cards aren't working anymore, it's we've been perfecting the system, so that might be uh, why if your credit cards have stopped working, if they have. So sorry. Got it. All good. Okay, and and this drink that we detected in your car—that's non-alcoholic, correct? Uh, always. All right, just making sure. <laughs> just checking. <laughs> Big kombucha fan. Oh, yeah, of course. Yep. Same here. All right. Well, have a nice day, and uh, uh, I'll, I'll put you on the opt-out list. And it, it, should stop, okay. it should stop doing MRI scans within the next month at some point. Okay. Terrific. All right. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thanks. We asked Paradise Valley Police about the cameras, but they said they were not prepared to make a statement at this time. So we came here to Town Hall, where people were also hesitant to talk with us, saying they wanted to wait until all the cameras were installed. Hello. Hello, Catherine. Yes. Hi, this is Roy from the city of Paradise Valley. Okay. And uh, I needed to let you know that we have these new cameras installed in cactuses. And yes, I've heard of that. Okay, yeah, one of our cameras caught you speeding in your car. No. Oh, yes, we did. Where are we at? Oh, I don't even have all the information here, but... Well, then you shouldn't call me if you don't know where. Well, I'm just calling to give you a friendly friendly warning, verbal warning, so, because if you get three warnings, we give you a ticket. Well, I am very careful when I drive, so I you'd have to tell me where it was that you saw that. Oh, I can call back in a little bit with that information. Okay, fine. But also, also, ma'am... Hello? Hey, I was in the middle of a sentence, and you just hung right up on me. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were... I'm sorry. I oh, thought that's you okay. were finished. No, I, I just don't wanted to let you know, we also took an x-ray of your car as it was driving by. Yes. And we saw that you have a gun in your purse. Now, is that gun registered? Oh, my God. I don't carry a gun. I've never been near a gun. It, it looks like a gun. Not. Do you have something in your purse that looks no. like a gun that has a lot of metal on it? No gun ever. Oh, okay. I'm 85 years old. I don't carry a gun. Well, you know, you you could carry a gun if you're 85. It's all right. You, you yeah, but I don't. Okay. I don't go near one. But you have to give me some more information. Or is this is this a scam or something? A a scam? How would this be a scam? I don't know. There's all kinds of people calling different ones anymore now with something. Well, what else did they see on the camera? Um, they okay. The camera did a full MRI on your body, and it says everything looks good. You're as fit as a fiddle. 
You know, it oh, takes come on. it takes an X-ray of your body and ch- an X-ray of your brain and everything. Well, so, you gotta let me know where did the, where did this picture where was it taken? You uh, don't know that, do you? I don't have that here with me, but um, the good uh-huh. news is that you're you're healthy. That's all that matters, right? Yes, that's right. Yep, yep. So that's that's. And what, what is your name? Who are you? My name is Roy. I'm with the city of Paradise Valley. Okay. Well, I'm in the middle of something, Roy. So Uh-oh. I'm going to go now. Okay. Which TV show are you in the middle of? Soap operas or daytime talk? Burke says the cameras are being placed on the perimeter of town. He says the cameras are not being put into fake cactus to be secretive, but he says it's because there are no light poles in the area to put them on. He says they're trying to make the cameras aesthetically pleasing. This is all part of a $2 million police technology upgrade the council passed last year. Jill Monnier, Fox 10 News. No, I don't go to the go cup places, and I don't go out for coffee. And I don't throw the go-cups out the window because I don't have any. Please, you people.